Hi guys and welcome back to Shady's Kitchen. I'm Shady. Today I've got a cracking dish lined up for you, especially for your pescatarians out there. It's full of protein, it's got a nice bit of spice to it, it's a fish curry. So are you ready? Let's get cooking. So with the fish that we're using today, uh, it's 1.5 kilograms of cod. What you need to do that as a preparation before we start making this dish is you need to cut it into medium sized chunks um, and then you need to marinate it in lemon and salt. And I would leave that out of the way, marinating for two hours or so in the fridge. Once you've done that, you need to remove that and rinse off the fish and then you're ready to go. So we're gonna start off with firstly uh, warming up some oil, nice and hot, so we've got some oil in there. Uh, that's gonna get the oil nice and hot. And we need to fry the fish for a few minutes or so, and I'll show you how we will do that. So with this fish now, straight into the oil, so we're gonna pop that into there. I'm going to give that about one minute on this side. I will turn it and once I turn it after a minute, I'll give it about two more minutes frying away and you need to do that with all of your fish. So I'll turn it in a moment and I'll give you the next instruction from there. So I'll, just take, I'll go ahead and turn that around now. So just gently turn it, you'll see it browning on one side quite nicely. Let's turn and piece it over. And you just need to fry this now for another uh, two to three minutes and do that with the rest of your fish. We'll come back to you when that's done. So now the uh, fish has all been fried. We're starting up again in uh, this um, pan over here and we have added 300 ml of sunflower oil. We've got that nice and hot. And to that, we're gonna add 600 grams of chopped onions. When you add it, um, we want these to brown really nicely. So I'm just gonna pop that into there. 600 grams of that. And you'll just give it a bit of a stir to make sure that all the onions are coated with this oil that's in here and we will come back to you when these onions have now softened and browned. So the onions have browned really, really nicely and we're gonna add the next part of the ingredients to this. So what you want to add into there are two uh, teaspoons of red chili powder. Half a teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder, that's healthy. So half a teaspoon of that. And one and a half teaspoons of uh, salt. Here we go. And we need to give that a, a lovely mix in there. If you do find that it starts to get a bit dry, we will add a dash of 
water into this mixture as well. Just add a tiny bit of water into there just to soften the onions up a bit and help them cook through. Next part that we're going to add to this now are some tomatoes. So we've cut uh, fresh tomatoes. You can use tin tomatoes if you want. If you are deciding to use tin tomatoes, you need 400 grams. If you're going for fresh tomatoes, two medium-sized tomatoes that have been chopped. We've added that there now to that. We'll give that a bit of a mix. Okay, so next what we want to add to that is uh, three teaspoons of garlic, uh, crushed garlic or garlic paste and uh, two teaspoons of, of ginger. I'm just letting you know because I've had some frozen beforehand which I'm using. But for the ingredients in this, you need to have three teaspoons of your garlic and two teaspoons of your ginger. I'll pop that in there now. Looks a bit different because we've had this frozen. We'll keep it frozen just for uh, more efficient uh, use. You need three teaspoons of dry coriander powder. So that's now. So that's three teaspoons of dry coriander powder. One teaspoon of red chili flakes. So that's one teaspoon of red chili flakes there. And the final thing at the moment is going to be some green chilies. And we've got 10 green chilies. And what we've done to that, we've chopped them, sliced them lengthways and chopped them into about thirds. I'll pop that into there now. And again, we'll give that a really nice uh, mix. Just going to mix this now for a few minutes or so we'll come back to you in about two minutes time when we add the next ingredient so the next step now at this point is to add the fish directly uh, to the uh, spices that we've got in here so we're just going to gently pop them in we'll just place them around gently and just to explain while i'm doing this what you need to do once these are in is we're going to drop this onto a low heat we're going to cover it with a, a pan, uh, sorry, a lid, and we're gonna allow the uh, fish to stew away for approximately two minutes. We're then going to come back to it. I won't, I'm just giving you the instructions on what you need to do. Uh, you need to come back to it after two minutes and turn the fish around, put the lid back onto it again, and leave it to a stew for a further two to four minutes. The longer you really leave it in there, the flavor, the fish flavor will run through um, the herbs. It, the herbs and the, the fish flavor will run through really nicely uh, and it's quite important that a stew's like that. So we're nearly done here with all the fish. For two minutes, with the lid on at low heat, come back to it, turn the fish around and pop the lid back on and leave it for the further approximately uh, four minutes. And we'll come back to you when that's been completely done. Okay, so we're on to the final part now. And what we need to do is add some uh, fresh coriander, chopped coriander, which we've, we're adding about approximately 50 grams of that into here. And we give that a bit of a mix. And just one final ingredient to add into there and that's going to be some cumin powder so i'm going to add 
I'm going to add some cumin powder to that and with that we're going to add two teaspoons of the cumin powder. So I'll just pop that into there now. So two teaspoons of cumin powder. I'll just pop it there. And one final mix. And that is now done. There you have it, another fantastic dish. Time to get the reaction from my parents. Seal of approval met. For many, many more of my dishes, why not head over to my channel and click that notification bell. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you soon.